with an all Argentine battle against Tacheres to come up in a matter of 10 or so days. The schedule starting to get jam packed. Two changes in the back four Aguirre and Perez remain. Braguieri and Bernabe come into the lineup. Acevedo, Novillo, and Teoten remain in the back four. Lertura holds in midfield. Away we go from La Fortaleza. Match day four rolls on in the Liga Profesional de Football. When they beat Central Cordoba. So plenty at stake, plenty to play for for both teams. And Avila has put Cologne into an attack minor position. It's the wrong side of the netting from Juan Alvarez, but a free flowing move into the attack for the visitors. Wonderful position for a free kick. Sabale as Andrew Teuten stands over on his left. And it will be Teuten just over the bar. Pops it over to the far side to continue this move for the home team. It's a clever first touch, and it might create something here for Lanús. Sands asking for it. It's a heavy touch in the area. It will be a corner. He's been filling in for the absences in attack. Helps to create this corner. It's lofted in. Braguieri saved initially and held well by Cachorro Burian. Immense pressure on the Cologne goalkeeper. Maxi Gonzalez's attempts to get in on the rebound, but it's a wonderful save there because it comes through a huge crowd of players. And Burian won't have had the best side to give that, but he gets down very well. And it's just there, he's not happy with Gonzalez trying to get the ball from between his legs, but I don't know if you can really. But Aguirre does well to win the throw. Clattering challenge there. And might we see the first yellow? Indeed, the referee, Leandro Ray Hilfer, goes to the pocket. How high and how positive Aguirre and Bernabe are as the fullbacks. They really go and join the attack. And here's a wonderful looking move. It was Sand flicking it on. It's a good save at the near post from Burian. And again, he's got questions for the referee. Belmonte on the follow up. Chance to pile numbers forward for Lanus. It's fake short. Curled in towards the penalty spot. Powerful header straight at Burian. Open up some gaps, and they've done so brilliantly. Sand holds up play. Finds Veraldo. It's Bernabe forward. Takes a deflection. And eventually, harmlessly into Burian. Well, it was shaping up nicely, the shot. Now it's in towards the back post. Deflection. It's kept in play by Avila. He goes for goal. Pressure here from Cologne. Yeah, again, it's poor defensively from Bernabe as he goes to clear it. Gives the ball away in a dangerous position. And when this cross gets deflected in behind, that could have gone anywhere. That little touch. Fortunately for Lanús, it spins away from goal. Abila stops it from going out of play because he knows he's got the space to bring it back. And it... Acosta, helped on by Baraldo. He picks up the loose change here. Baraldo, oh, narrowly wide. It's a decent attempt from the striker, and it had booty up. Yeah, and again, unhappy with his defenders. It's Aguirre involved, getting forward again. And Veraldo's shot just bending away from goal. And in the end, Burian's able just to watch it go the wrong side of the park. No stranger to those type of challenges. I think he's innocent there. Well, Juan Alvarez might still be feeling that shoulder, but nothing more for the challenge. His 11th league appearance, his 12th career appearance as he did get one so the second half begins here a cheer goes up from the fans gathered at la fortaleza at the back post but what a ball forward and cologne are 2v1 at the back it's prodded into the path of avila by farias avila cuts it back it's avila wide and he can't believe it well, it should be three and three. That pass by Bernardi is absolutely sensational. Under pressure to release Farias. Farias lays it on to Abila. And once he steps inside that challenge here, as he receives the ball, you think, OK, he's done the hard part. He's kept his cool. He's made the space. He's got the time. Yeah, Lanus end up being able to double up on him there. He's desperately trying to 
work it onto his right to get the shot away. And against two, virtually impossible. They move into the attacking half with Bernabe. Swivels and drops a glorious pass into the path of Sand on the far side. Sand, it's Belmonte in space. Belmonte straight at Burian. Bernabe picks up the free kick. Oh, little hand to the face there. And it's popping off on the far side of the pitch. It's a red card for Alexandro Bernabe. He's sent off for his reaction here. In a sort of somewhat mocking way, he grabs him by the head, gives him a bit of a shove, and then he gets involved. Lanus forced into a change here as Paschini comes on for Lucas Veraldo to ensure they still have someone there at left back, taking out someone from the attack. At getting that first away win since February, as they're bringing on three high-powered reinforcements here. The trio of Pulga, Rodriguez, Rodrigo, Aliendro. For the final 20 minutes is some statement, isn't it? It just goes to show with that busy schedule, Falcioni is trying to give players a little bit more resting time. So you said they have to travel to Rosario on Wednesday to play Patronato in the Copa Argentina, to play at home against Huracan at the weekend, following midweek, Libertadores round of 16. Yeah, it might have been fortunate not to see that called as a foul. So the corner taken is not it back. And smash beyond the goalkeeper. The 10 men of La Luz take the lead through Lautaro Acosta. It's 1 0. Flash as it drops. Colon switch off defensively. He's there ahead of Navisho and he pokes it beyond Burian to give the 10 men the lead five minutes from time. What a moment and what an important goal this could be for Lautre Costa and Lanús. On in his place, a defender, Brian Aguilar, the 19-year-old, another one of the academy products and just coming on now to try and... So Cologne now. Up a man, down a goal. Popped into the area. Avila rattles the woodwork. Well, for the second time, Avila could have had a hat trick on another afternoon. Monetti's no way near. He's going in the other direction. Makes or tries to make the very long way around the pitch. <laughs> While well, he's going to end up being booked here. What a mess this is, and he's still trying to. Lautaro Acosta. Who came on as a sub to start the second half, and he gets plaudits. A hug from his manager, Jorge Almiron, trying to hold on to this 1-0 advantage. And meanwhile, Juan Alvarez has gone off for Colón. Juan Sanchez Mino has come on. Andrew Teuten also out with Brian Farioli coming on having to come and play back domestically, still waiting for that win. So it is significant, even if in, the, in terms of the league table, in terms of what it stands for. Of Belmonte and Aguirre here on the near side. Time-wasting clinic being put on. Belmonte actually finds Aguirre who comes forward and Acosta looking for a brace, smashes it wide. But it won't matter in the end. The full-time whistle rings out to celebratory cheers from fans of El Granate. They had a man sent off.